What's up, Aries? This is Soul. Aries, we're going to look at some energies for you uh, beginning uh, February 7th and ending February 13th, 2022. Doing something a little bit different this week. I'm using the uh, Vintage Wisdom Oracle deck to be the central theme for you, possibly for some, for some of you out there to focus on and some energies that you may need to know and helping you along your way and your path. This reading is for Aries uh, Singles, Aries Sun, yeah. Hold on, I got ahead of myself. Aries, suns, moon, and rising sign energies. And then for Aries who are single in partnerships and Aries who are into same-sex uh, energies. Okay, so without further ado, just going to select one card. And I am going to read the energies from the textbook, uh, you know, because they can be, depending on what, which card is selected, uh, the text can be pretty lengthy. And I'm still trying to, you know, make sure that, you know, I'm getting these videos out there, but I'm not expanding too much energy in time in terms of you know time waste okay so let's see what's the theme for you and then i'm going to pick a card from the uh, spirit message oracle deck uh, by john holland just to support this then i'm gonna move on to the general reading for you aries and that's going to be um using the alice in wonderland uh, tarot What's the message? What's the theme energy for it? My fellow Aries this upcoming week. All right. So Aries, your message for the week and what you may need to focus on. Okay. So this was just selected for um, Pisces, the awakening. Okay. Awakening was selected for Pisces. And what it says here for the awakening is that a woman emerges from a uh, bed of roses symbolizing pleasure and pain. She is surrounded by a cow slips called Little Keys of Heaven or Our Lady's Keys for their shape and a room infused with rays of sun uh, rise shining through an old window pane. Her upward gaze, uh, one of recognition or seeing the light, the illuminating power of light, revered as a metaphor by many world cultures and faiths, represents truth godliness and the dispelling of darkness the auspicious this auspicious card speaks of new light on your pathway the process of awakening can take many forms whether uh, subtle like the soft dawn of a new day or challenging as when the searing blade of uh, truth is needed to sever ties that no longer serves you well could it be time to wake up and own your part in a situation where it may be otherwise tempting to blame others. Or maybe you need to be brave and release old fears. Make a conscious choice to open like the rose and embrace a fresh perspective on your life. The transitional energy of awakening helps liberate you on your journey of awareness and assists you in discerning the value from the value list. That is your message from the uh, Vintage Oracle. And this is the card here. Uh, excuse the glare, but you'll get the glare here. It's the Awakening. Beautiful cards. I've had these cards for years, just never used them. Okay, so now onward to your message from the Spirit Message. What is the Spirit Message that um, Spirit wants uh, Aries to know for this upcoming week in support of the Awakening? These messages, I don't need to go to the text because they have them right on the card and I can read them right from the card. Okay, so this one here for you, Aries, involves uh, seek. It says seek. The power of spirit exists in all things. Everything is made of energy and every single thing in your physical world contains a fragment of spirit, including you. We are all one with spirit and always will be connected to one another. That is your spirit message to complement your reading for this upcoming week. Now, onwards to the general reading, and these are just general energy. So, you know, I always say, you know, what resonates with you, um, you know, take it. If it doesn't, just keep it moving. It's not going to be for the messages, won't be for every Aries that comes along and sees the video. Could be for cross watchers, may or may not be, it doesn't, you know doesn't matter. Okay, so all these cards should be in the upright position. And I think I've only used this deck twice since I've had it, and I've had this for a couple of years, too. 
Beautiful that. Anyway, so your first card, we're going to start off with, and I use the uh, Vintage uh, Wisdom Oracle as the central theme. You know, like before Aries, I used to use the first card as your theme of energy or what you need to focus on. So we're no, no longer going to do that. We're changing things up here. Your, your central theme here relates to the awakening and the message that is attached to that and then also to and complement uh, complementary to whatever, you know, the information um, that I just spoke about with the spirit message, seek. So your first card in energy for this upcoming week is the Page of Swords. So for some of you, quite a few of you, is new conversations. Someone could be spying on you, Aries. This is a spy card for me. Someone could be, if it is, a, is some sort of spying, there's some sort of new development. Someone is starting to spy on you or about to spy on you. This also too relates to uh, social internet uh, media. So it could be relative to the news. Uh, Page of Swords is uh, still an action card. So it could be new decisions and then taking actions based on any new decisions that you uh, have to do or have to make. And this is, you know, conversations, like I said, new conversations with other people. It could be romantic partners. It could be, you know, uh, co-workers, employers, uh, family members, whatever this energy and how it relates to you is coming through. Page of Swords represents Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius energy. So that opens us up. And it's a court card, so it also could be uh, again, when we're, we're doing the um, dim down this light a little bit, I think I'm getting too much of a glare. Um, yeah. yeah, keep it there. So yeah, the page of swords is new conversations. Could be you know a new uh, link to a romantic partnership, and it also could be a friendship as well. So your shadow energy, because I always seem to forget these uh, shadows, is the Two of Wands. Two of Wands is here, so Aries is waiting for someone or something. In other words, then, if you're not waiting for someone or something, it could be mail. It could be something that you ordered online. Something as simple as that. Don't make it, you know, too drastic, Aries. Whatever it is that you're waiting for, uh, it's just slow and not moving fast enough for you. So, it, you know, the number two could represent uh, two people. So it could be a relationship that you're waiting for. It could be a friend that you're waiting for. Uh, it could be for others who are just, you know, planning future things and you're uh, setting goals and writing things down, but you just don't have the necessary ammo or resources to move forward just yet because it's usually the three of swords that, I'm sorry, not the three of swords, the three of wands that comes in that gives the green light for you to move forward. But anything that you lay down here with the two of wands. So this represents you. Uh, Sagittarius and Leo. So, but I feel that there's somebody waiting for something to happen. It could be, a, you know, waiting for a job, waiting for some news. Remember, as I said there's new conversations. It could be an actual person um, in terms of what you're waiting for. All right. So, following that uh, page of swords here, Aries, we have the uh, sun. Sun shines and smiles on my fellow Rams. Okay, beautiful. This is a relationship card. This is a card of happiness, joy, love, peace. Um, there's two. Yeah, these are two. Uh, looks like two policemen here, but they're holding hands, so they could be lovers. If they are, to each their own, right? This could be some of you just having routine medical exams, checkups, anything exposed to, um, you know, medical facilities. It could be. Um, that involving children or whatever. I feel that, you know, in the past when I always got the sun, that, you know, two states come to mind, Florida and California. So somebody could be, you know, either living there in the states and they just happen to come along and uh, see my video. Or it could be that someone is planning a trip to somewhere uh, that's remotely sunny. Uh, and someone possibly traveling to those two places, California and Florida. Uh, so, yeah, so when it comes to routine medical exams, just, you know, having um, someone could be having, you know, cancer treatments, you know, radiation, chemotherapy. Usually with the sun, though, it's the best, it's the best card in the deck. It's usually uh, indicative of, you know, all is going to be well if it is related to any health issues that might crop up. I could be just reading for uh, some areas who work in the medical field in itself, nurses, doctors. Uh, hospital support staff and so forth but the sun is very beautiful and you know it crosses your um 
page of swords, but it's in your immediate environment. So this is energy that's coming to you right away. So I like that, the sun. All right, so following the major arcana, the sun here, Aries, uh, we have the three of cups. So <laughs> here we go. There's a time to celebrate. Somebody is either celebrating somebody's birthday or just getting together with a small group. This may have something to do with the Super Bowl. If you guys are into watching the Super Bowl, it might be a small gathering that you're invited to or you invite a couple people over to watch the game. Uh, it doesn't really matter. So, yes, birthday celebrations of all kinds. Um, there definitely is you know, going to be some drinking involved. Whether or not it's, the involvement is direct with Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces, it doesn't really matter, but that's the energy of this card. So there's a time to celebrate. Getting together, it could be romantic partners who are already linked, just enjoying quality time with each other. And then maybe there's a, you know, hanging out with a friend or something like that. Um, the cups do represent children. So anything related to happiness in regards to children. Also, the sun represents happiness for children, feeling like, you know, childlike and um, joy. Definitely the happiness is there. So three of cups is showing up here for you, uh, Aries. Um New conversation, since it mirrors the page of swords, it may be somebody that you meet new, and there's the new conversations. But it's all good because the Three of Cups is a very, very beautiful card. It's emanating love, um, you know, in terms of being in uh, the same atmosphere or environment with the people that you share your feelings for, and then you get that back in terms of reciprocity. All right, following the Three of Cups here, now we have the Justice card. So you have another major arcana, Aries. So the Justice card is showing up here. And this is things, you know, that were in balance before. Now coming back into balance. Justice represents Libra, the scales, and, you know, um, Gemini and uh, Aquarius. So there could be some um, lawsuits going on. There could be court cases going on. Um, you know, with the Three of Cups, there's, you know, maybe there's some sort of decision or uh, some finality in terms of a, a long drawn out court case could be uh, anything involving work matters when it comes to work you know workers workers comp it's in your favor the justice card that you know when it shows up here and it's in the upright position is always about it being in your favor justice being you know normalized or returned or back or brought back into balance so it's it's not a negative uh, energy here so whatever this Justice card may mean for you. This is why it's showing up. All right. So the last card here in your spread for this reading is, oh, shit. You can't get no better than this, Aries. It's the star card. No, not only do you have the sun, but you also have the star card. Hopes, wishes, and dreams becoming fulfilled and manifested. Of course, it mirrors the page of swords where I said that's a social card, news outlets, and usually refers to news outlets for me, uh, new conversation. But it mirrors the page of swords, so social media, the star card represents social media, so new connections through those, you know, whatever your favorite social, um, you know, apps are. So that's where the new conversations will come in. Then we have the sun that connects to the, or, you know, that uh, crosses the uh, page of swords in terms of joy, happiness, followed by the three of cups, even more joy and happiness in terms of celebration. Wow, the Page of Swords, the Sun, the Three of Cups, the Justice card, and you finish off with the Star card. The Star card represents Aquarius uh, and other air energies, Gemini and Libra. So I feel that there's either going to be more uh, of an increase of um, social networking, social media stuff, connection, you know, with new people, uh, new conversations with people. Um, but it's all good from my perspective. So this seems like it's going to turn out to be a, a wonderful week uh, for my fellow Aries out there. So I hope that, you know, even though these are just general readings, that, the, you know, the energy that I had just presented to you opens up to the majority of you. Until then, Aries, if you are going to um, be watching the Super Bowl, you'll have fun. Don't drink too much. Um, yeah, and just enjoy, okay, because you have the blessings of these uh, energies that have shown up for you. Until I talk to you next week, Aries, take care. Bye.